Okay, I'm going to show you the new foreground extraction tool that's currently being developed for GIMP. So what I'm trying to do is I want to cut out this woman. So I roughly outline the object that I want to get and say everything here outside of this is clearly background. Now I get this brush and I can draw again roughly what is the foreground. So everything I go over now is completely foreground. The important thing is that everything that is left then, as soon as I stop moving the mouse, it calculates what part of this is foreground, what is background and what are the in-between values. So we can have real transparency here. Now that's the mask it calculated, we could refine it, we can make some more marks. And as soon as we press enter um, here, it creates a new layer with the alpha values that it calculated. And you can clearly see that it really nicely got this hair, these defined strings of hair, and it also got some half transparent pixels in here. So when we compare this now to the old foreground extraction tool, so this is the old version of GIMP, I started besides it. You can do basically the same, so I also mark this. I outline the object, I can draw the foreground. And um, the problem with this is what you get out of it as soon as you press enter is just this selection. Now if you want to cut the object out as I did before, you can also cut out and um, for example create a new layer and paste it in here. But you can now see the problem. It just cuts the object out. It doesn't look for foreground and background and especially it doesn't look for transparent values and it doesn't capture that well the, the, the fine hair. So here on top it works quite good. It's also a little bit faster than the other one. But it, it doesn't really do a good job here with the fine hair. When you compare this again to the new one, get quite good selection here. If you put a white background for example, you can also see that there are transparent values compared to this one where you just have a binary, you have either foreground or background. It looks terrible in comparison. So that's basically it. Thanks for watching and um, I hope you will soon see this feature in a new game release.